Hello and welcome to Wandering Wanda. I'm Ariel and today I am going to cover putting away all the kitchen stuff that I have accumulated in the last couple of months slowly and Walter thinks I bought too much stuff. He doesn't think it's all gonna fit. That's not my concern. My concern is weight. So I'm trying to minimize weight and with all the stuff gathered here inside the Airstream in laundry baskets some of it may not be staying with us some of it might be going as gifts to other people or returns to Amazon thank god I bought it from Amazon all right follow along On the sofa area, we have this basket, which is coffee makers, mugs, I don't know what else is in there. Pats, pans, and there's my shoehorn because I cannot tie shoes anymore. Can't get my belly bent over. It's like trying to fold a bowling ball. Okay, here we have more stuff. Pictures, pots and pans, knife sharpening. Hmm. Okay, we pan over here to the counter. As we pan over here in the counter area, we've got storage bins, Walter's ice maker. We're gonna have to test this out before we actually use it. Instruction book is right there. I gotta read a manual. Ugh. Okay, and then my Instapot. Stuff for the kitchen. I don't even know what's in there anymore. More stuff. We pan down. They okay, are my heater. Dyson Hot Cool. Fabulous. It's quiet. That's what I like about it. Is that it's quiet. More stuff for the kitchen. Oh, hangers. I don't know what else is in there right now. Okay, more stuff for the kitchen. My my rice maker, very important. Still haven't found a rice container yet. So, gotta look for that. And of course, trash can. Okay, what I'm gonna work on first is trying to clear out the counter so I have work a workspace. This is Walter's cough, um, ice maker. He likes a lot of ice. So, where I originally wanted this was where the garbage can that is installed in this thing comes. It's over here next to the front door. However, it will not fit in that location because when you pull this in and out of the cabinet that it goes into, it, it's a it's a tight squeeze and see the ice maker is bigger than the garbage can so it's not gonna fit by about one and a half inches so that goes that idea And the home. We're gonna have to do something about the cord. It found a home. Oh dear. My beloved Instapot. 
I think it's too big. Label maker? We need a label maker. Sure. Label maker tape. These are candles, scented sea salt and vanilla. The only way I can get salt nowadays. Okay, my condiments, this is Filipino condiments. Toyo is soy sauce. Suka, this is cane vinegar. And patis is fish sauce. There's a particular brand I like. So when we go on the Alaska trip, this little thing is not. This is about the same quantity as a wine bottle. And this is not gonna last me three months. So I got another empty one that I'm going to fill with patis also. So what this container is, I've been looking around, looking around for a liquid container that I can easily access but yet at the same time is airtight so Walter does not smell this. He does not like the smell of this. So I found these, what are these? These water, water jugs. They're, they're just plain water jugs from Ikea of all places. And I think they were like two, two bucks. They weren't that expensive. They're airtight, you can't smell it. Smell doesn't permeate out. Once you seal it, everything's rubber sealed. Beautiful. Laundry basket empty. Yay! Now where am I gonna put this? <laughs> I think we'll put it here for easy access because I use it a lot. it fits. Hopefully it doesn't all spill in there and everything. <laughs> oh, someone's not going to be a happy camper. I'm fine. Walter won't be. 
Okay, we gotta move the trash can. I'm hitting myself on it. Candles are heavy, so we'll put them in the bottom somewhere. Oh, looks like a good spot. Can I get three of these? Where's the third one? There it is. the plug that goes with the boom box but I don't need this plug because this Airstream has US excuse me I don't need this plug for USB because this Airstream I'm very impressed with this has USB ports everywhere it's one over there there's one over here next to the TV. There's one on each side of the bed. The only place they did not put a USB plug in is in the bathroom. So I guess they don't want you charging up when you're shitting. Okay, I gotta put this in the basement area. That's the box. I do wanna keep that. Okay, this is all the DeWalt drill stuff. I found out it's not gonna fit in the in the bags that I got. So I re-transported my tools back into the plastic bin. And this is not working also. It doesn't close. So this is probably gonna go in a plastic bin. This goes with the office office plastic bin stuff, which is right above where you are right now. Picture for making, for when I make iced tea for Walters, we can keep it in there. This is light, so we can go up here. Ooh, I don't like that. What is this? Guess I should have opened the drawers. Okay, we're gonna need cleaning supplies. I did bring cleaning supplies already. I have Clorox with bleach. Also 409. I have been looking for this. Okay, for now we're gonna put all of this in the couch. It's more storage stuff.
more storage stuff. Now move the storage stuff over here. I can't see into this. See, my line of sight is right here. <laughs> this is just... Oh. Step stool, bed, bath, and beyond. Ta-da! Oh look, now I can see inside. carpeted area up here. I wonder what this is for. Okay. Okay, these are for plates. I don't know whether I should put the plates up there or down here. We'll see. For now we'll just put that up there. Just to get it out of the way. Okay, we have oven mitts. And what I like about this, it has that silicone rubbery thing where you can grip a can or a jar and twist it open really nice and cotton oven mitts I like these because they're washable and they match the color scheme look at that isn't that nice it matches the color scheme and this is from Larry and Ronnie friends of ours from Ohio which we will be which we will be visiting them next year on our East Co Northern East Coast trip. That's already booked. This, I don't know what to do with either. Okay, for now, it goes on so. <laughs> Trash in. Okay, this was came in a packet from Airstream. It's got branding on it. It says Airstream Las Vegas. The only thing in that one of the packets, more more gift stuff, it's not free. It's included with the price. <laughs> but it's got Airstream Las Vegas on it. It's really cute. They're plastic and I think I'm gonna keep them as my wine glasses. So we will be drinking wine, or I will be drinking wine out of these. I don't know where to put glassware yet. Maybe up there. Only if I can see it. Oh dear, that's problematic. Okay, storage, storage bin. Storage bin. Butter dish will go in the refrigerator. I gotta wash this though. 
Okay, these are atomic wall clocks I got from Bed Bath & Beyond. Again, I go there often, and I'm hoping that this will automatically change the time when we cross the different time zones. It's an atomic clock. It's supposed to be switched on to whatever atomic thing is out there. And hopefully changes with the time zones we'll see and I also got instead of having to nail I don't want to push anything in here so I got clear mounting strips and I'm just gonna mount them to the wall one here living area and one in the bedroom so that's a future project Wine set. Don't know where that's gonna go yet either. Okay. <laughs> okay, this is a bucket. Bucket. This is just a, a bowl dish thing that I'm planning on using for rinse water. And I have this drying mat, which is foldable. So I don't know if I'm gonna use the bamboo one or this one. Ooh, nope. Okay, the bamboo one I don't think we're gonna use because it's heavier than the plastic. Plastic's a lot lighter. This is not going to make it in the airstream. <clears throat> oh dear. I forgot that was all down there. So I gotta clear this all out now. Oh. This will not fit down there. I gotta find a hole for this. Okay, this is concentrated peppermint which repels rodents, ants, and other creatures that could crawl, creepy crawl into Wanda. So we're gonna spray this around the tires. This will be a different episode. Okay, this goes with the chemical stuff that I already have down here. Shopping bag, you shopping bags. I'm there's a cabinet thingy back here, or another trash can. Trash cans everywhere in this place. Okay, trash can. That's where I'm gonna put the used. Um, our garbage bags or our plastic bags that will be used as garbage bags like right there perfect
dish soap. Okay, the sink thing, we're not in use. I think we'll go underneath the sofa because it looks like it will fit down there. And it does. sink pretty much emptied and cleared and it will be my new workspace you don't want to hear me babble on on this so and I also want to sit down and rest right now so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna time-lapse the rest of this and you could watch me really quickly put away all this stuff or try to find a home for it Found a perfect spot for the trash can, which is right here. It wedges nicely. And I can still open the cabinet. Perfect fit. This I think will just move around as we need it. But during transit, I think what I'm going to do is just lay it in bed like that. That should be fine up there. Put pillows around it. Uh, 
All right, now that I've successfully found a home for the kitchen stuff, however, now I'm thinking, where am I going to put the food? <laughs> okay, we're going to have to redesign this again. Maybe I need a shelf here. There's no room in here. No room up here. This is not moving. The tea. Nope. The tea we may need to move. We do I do drink tea in almost a regular basis, so that's not going anywhere. That's gonna stay there. There's room back here for stuff, but I need to be able to take this in and out. So I need to grab it with both hands so that sides are so just a little bit of space back there and down here, I guess, up here. I'm gonna have to reorganize this again. All right. Thank you for watching. I hope you got some information out of what I just did and at least some entertainment value. Bye.